What is going on, you guys? It's your boy, Max, back with a different style of Dead by Daylight video today. I want to do, like, a sort of a VOD review of a game that I got off stream, just trying to get some more Billy practice in, because if I'm being honest with you, dude, this is the most fun that I've had with this game in a long time, is trying to learn how to actually play Billy. I made a community post a while back asking what you guys thought about him, if you thought he was fun, if you thought he was too hard to play, and a couple of people actually, like, sounded off. They're like, yo, I'm a billy main and i feel like i could learn a lot from you guys so if there's any billy mains watching this that could give me some tips in the comments down below please do i know he takes a lot of practice to get used to and a lot of like muscle memory uh but i'm still loving him no matter how hard he is still i love him so the match that i'm gonna go over with you is offline like i said i played it off stream and it was against a Twitch squad, which I think was a squad based on the way that they were playing. We'll see in the VOD. I'll just cut into the, the lobby here and we'll talk about my decision making. So I'm pretty set on my build that I like on Billy. I feel like Shadowborn is a crutch, but it makes him feel so much better, honestly. So take it or leave it, whatever. Uh, I like Eruption just because I have so much good map traversal to be able to kick gens and stuff. And then, of course, you know I love my Nowhere to Hide. It works so well with Eruption as well. Hopefully catch somebody lurking near a gen that I just kicked. Get a nice little back rev. However, I do see the two flashlights, the three TTVs in the lobby. I'm assuming they're playing together. And I'm assuming they're going to be all over me. So I'm actually going to swap something like barbecue, which is a little further range. Uh, good for my map traversal. Not really good for people assailing me with flashlights. What I want to do is try to use the new Xenomorph perk, Ultimate Weapon, to make people scream before I pick somebody up. All I gotta do is open a locker. So that's the goal here. That's the only thing that I swapped was barbecue for ultimate weapon. I think it'll work a little bit better with the uh, close quarters as it's going to be. So we'll hop right into the match here. We don't have any weird offerings. Unfortunately, I did get swamp, <laughs> which I hate, but let's just jump right into the match. All right, so here we go. My first priority is to get ultimate weapon activated there is some lockers directly in front of me which is great the game plan is to set that up and then cruise and if we get somebody in our terror radius they will scream and show me where they are perfect so here we go i'm gonna go across the map see where they are we do get a scream on main we get a lot of screams on main actually but those boxes dude i couldn't turn around them in time they blend in too much i chalk it up to swamp being swamp dude so I do hear a chest open here. Kate actually pops out, and I'm going to M1 her because I don't want to try to rev and get her uh, caught in these windows here because I'm just asking for it there. I'm going to try to swing through the pallet, but she sees me coming. Unfortunate, but what can you do? I'm going to break the pallet here with the chainsaw. And then we're going to go after Kate. I can see her little halo thing behind the window there. I tried to go around it, but I get head on. So that's, that's my first inclination that these guys are playing together. And that boon that just went up, she has no more scratch marks. That's Shadow Step. Alright, so we got a couple of things to worry about. Shadow Step is somewhere here, so I'm going to abandon her because I don't think I can chase her. And get her, I'm going to look for Shadow Step. But Kate is just here for some reason. So I'm going to take that advantage while I can see her. And I almost get flashed by Thalita. She misses, and she takes a damage. Now I... I was going up here to put her further away from the entire squad, like in the corner of the map. I wanted barbecue value. I think you, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking around for barbecue. I forgot that I don't have it. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to reproc ultimate weapon because I know Thalita's around here with that flashlight. And I think this is Dwight on this gen. We're going to cruise for him. Let's see if we can hit him. Beautiful. And then we know Min is up there. So every other survivor is accounted for. It's also good. There's the boon as well that we snuff out because I could hear it. It's also good that we downed Dwight before we kicked any gen. So now we can set up eruption and at least get that set on that gen. We don't have to wait for the cooldown or anything. The next gen I kick is also going to get eruption. It's great. So Delita's here and I see Min off in the distance. The pink bunny hoodie. Girl, you got to wear some camo. I don't know. So, again, I'm keeping all the survivors accounted for. I know Min and uh, Kate are up here. Kate runs directly into me for the unhook. I'm going to give her a deep wound, and then she's going to trade for it anyway. So, I know Dwight has that flashlight, and I'm going to try to chase him away or deep wound him. I think he got far enough away. This is really risky, actually. This is so close. I'm just mashing space, hoping that I get it before the blind, and I do. So, I know he's still over here because he was on my side to try to blind me. So, we're going to stick on him. 
Because that flashlight's... <laughs> I tried to rev my saw there. The flashlight's going to be a pain in the ass. I try to bait the pallet by looking up. Make it look like I'm going to swing. And it works. I get the free pallet break there. And I know that they just unhooked over here. So we're going to cruise. See if we can hit Felita coming around the tree. Does not work. But I'm very, very, very close to her. She doesn't have a way inside the bottom of this yet. So we're good to go right here. She does not make this pallet. She tries to go in the locker. She doesn't get it. I could have been more careful because actually Dwight is here with the flashlight. And he's got the pallet there. He's going to drop that for me for free though because I almost went into it. And then I'm waiting for him to drop down right here. I'm listening for Dwight to drop, but he doesn't do it. He's just going to stay up there. So I want to try to bait him to drop and then I'll just get him. But he's not going to do it. So Kate's still here too. Again, we're keeping all the survivors accounted for. I want to see where Dwight exactly is. So I'm using ultimate weapon right now. Every survivor is in my terror radius right now because we've got three screams. These windows are... I shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, yeah. we rev the saw to break it. And I see Min in her pink hoodie. That's not even the hoodie. That's the, the bing bong from uh, Pixar's Inside Out. Anyway, again, I know Dwight was just up there. I want to eruptionize this. We chase Kate off the gen. And this is so free because we have nowhere to hide. We can see Dwight through the grass. That's a free charge right there with the saw. So I know that uh, Min is over here. She's got more recovery progress than Dwight does, so I'm going to try to pick her up. And I want to, since I have two of them down, I can, like, keep them kind of in this area, just stuck in a loop of unhooking, basically. So I know the lead is up there, but I do want more hook progress. I'm so ahead right now. Uh, they haven't even got a single gen done, which is great. Eruption just ran out, so I'm going to go back over here and reproc this because I know that it had the most progress. But the leader does get caught in a bad spot right there with the saw, and they didn't even tap the gen anyway, so. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I know Dwight's on the hook, so I don't have to worry about his flashlight. And I think this is the closest hook. It's, it's far enough away from Dwight where it's, like, separating them more anyway. So, as you just saw Min, she, uh, plot twisted. I'm going to go back to main. To try to look for a locker, but I do get distracted by Dwight getting unhooked. I figure I can hit Kate, and I do. I did want to try to proc ultimate weapon to find Min plot twisting. But I only got Dwight's scream there. So, I don't know where she is. Dwight's still trying to flash me, so I can know that he's pretty much next to me. So, I'm going to look for him. Where do I see his scratch marks going? Right this way. We're going to use Billy's speed to catch right up to him. He does turn away. Which is good for him. Unfortunately, he's injured, so I can just M1 him. I do want to re-eruptionize this just to get it regressing. And I do see Min's aura in Nowhere to Hide through the grass. She's healthy. The other uh, Dwight is injured, right? So I can always just M1 him if it comes down to it. I want to try to get the saw on her. She's going to give me that for free, actually. A lot of dudes lately have been seeing me rev the saw and just greed the pallet. Because they know that they can, like, beat me through it. You know what I mean? So I know she's got this window here. I'm going to try to win the 50-50 with the saw here. I could have revved it a little bit faster and just like full committed to one side, which is what I really should have done, but I got it anyway. And I know Dwight is working on that gen because he screamed from eruption. So that's going to be the next place I go. However, ultimate weapon did just come back off cooldown. So I'm going to go grab that right here because I know that there's lockers right here, which is perfect. Now the tricky part is going to be... How to get back over there. Because I know he's there. I should have probably went off the top and went to the right around this tree because I end up hitting this rock anyway and I feel stupid for it. Uh, but I have him. He's injured. I can just smack him. I'm going to let him go though just to be a nice guy because he's a streamer. So we go for a couple of nice little 360s. We're just waiting for uh, men to die on the hook. But anyway, uh, that's that. Handled in like, what, eight minutes, nine minutes? <laughs> Billy's so fun, dude. Honestly, I just wish that uh, I had more of the spiked boots. Because I feel like that is my most comfortable combo, is the purple boots and the yellow boots. Because I'm not like one of those guys that can flick around corners yet. But that just feels nicer for cruising around the map, in my opinion. I know that the engravings make you go hella fast. Uh, it feels a little out of control for me. And the charge time is a little rough. The other combo that I see often is the purple muffler, which gives you faster chainsaw rev. Uh, and then you pair it with the green engravings. So it's like best of both worlds. But I don't know. Uh, 
Otherwise, I just use the brown boots and the low kickback chains like I had on this one, the green one. Because it, you know, covers up when you smack some stuff. But I'm getting better at not doing that. I don't know. I really enjoy Billy lately, dude. Let me know what you guys uh, thought. If there's any Billy mains watching this, I would love some advice and some suggestions. Uh, and I don't know, if you want to see some more, I don't really play this game that much off stream, so it'd be hard to get more of this, like, VOD review kind of stuff, but, I don't know. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want some more DVD content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and peace.